Time for our workout Wednesday. We are back here at E3. Justin's joining us. So today we're talking about opening up the hips. You were talking about how maybe our hips have been in hibernation for the winter and it's spring now, so time to work them out. Yeah, I get a ton of people that say, hey, it did, my body doesn't feel the way it felt at the end of the season when I finished my last turkey trot. Right. And I go, well, yeah, you spent the whole winter sitting down. Right. So we gotta open those hips up because when your hips are tight, it affects the way that your legs move, it affects the way that your stride is. And so next thing you know, you get low back pain, you have plantar fasciitis, you have all these like related things and it can oftentimes be sourced from tightness. This from is hips. so great because this is the time of year when everyone starts doing those 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons and so on. So do these workouts before. That's it, yeah, just start now to get open. Don't think more running will make you better. Right. All right, it's more work that'll make you better at running. All right. So we're gonna start prone. So we're gonna go down to push up position. And this is the basic one. We're gonna start here and you're simply just gonna step up to that hand. So get that foot and just sink down into that center line. And a lot of people are gonna feel it right there and say, that's it for me. But if you can move further, you're gonna go ahead and open up that knee and rotate towards it and get that stretch to the center line. And when you feel good there, you just go ahead and step back and get that opposite side. So again, you just sink to the center and just open up that knee and release it and get a nice good stretch. That feels good throughout the whole body. Oh yeah, you're getting everything kind of just to start opening up, right? Okay. So that's where you start. And then from there, you can go and head on down to your back. And we're just gonna add a little distraction into the hip. So you're gonna take one knee up at 90 degrees. Your opposite hand's gonna come across the inner knee, all right? And you're gonna open up that hip. And at the same time, you're gonna push your knee into your hand and create some tension here. So this is called introducing a distraction or you're introducing pressure into that hip. And so if you can focus on staying externally rotated but push those muscles in, this is similar to like how active release technology works like. So when you start to get that to fight. Does it matter if your feet are flexed or pointed? Does it matter? Yeah, if you're pointing your toe to the ceiling, you're gonna introduce more tension into that leg and so that's what you wanna have. Okay. All right, so from there, we're gonna go to a seated exercise. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and sit down, nice tall torso. You're trying to get a 90 degree here with this leg and bring that back foot up and try to get that back leg higher, even higher up with that foot. There we go, so now sit nice and tall, have those hips nice and square. All right, Corey's way better at this than I am. <laughs> so now from here you wanna open up, so let's go ahead and rotate, rotate, and stay nice and tall. This is not fair. Most of you will struggle, okay? <laughs> But that's the rotation. And what that does is you're able to root your hips and so you get this opening here and then you start to get movement through that hip and so you can start to open up those hips. These are things you just do at home. Just help you warm up and get loose. That feels really good. Yeah, it feels real good. Last one? Last one, we're gonna come to the kettlebell and now this one is a bit challenging. So what I'm gonna have you do is have a real wide stance. All right, and so we're gonna take a real wide stance. We're gonna start on our left leg. Go ahead and open that foot up to 45 degrees. You're gonna hold your kettlebell at your chest just for some good uh, balance. And we're gonna go ahead and sit towards that side like you're sitting on a chair behind your foot. And just get down nice and deep and low. And then once you get that, you stand up nice and tall, close that side open, open the other and sit back nice and low. Sit that down, all the way into that chair. Yeah, all the way down. See, we won't be able to do this, but <laughs> that is the idea. It so still sitting feels so back, good. Yeah, no, no, whether you're really flexible or not flexible, yeah open hips or closed hips, these movements just open up blood flow through that fascia, through the hips, and just starts to let everything communicate. So you can then go and run and work out or whatever it is that you do. It's good, it feels good. So we're gonna put all of these tips, all of these movements on our website at 90s.com. Justin, from E3, thank you so much, as yeah, always. You absolutely. Rock.